my God! Everybody, this is Joan. Hi. Hello. De uniden, hablen de arwet hal uniden, let hanset de un quagmandir. Dena den re dun hebel death mithrendir ve on hel hesano. Uh, uh, hey there. Uh, I mean, uh, it's n nice to pleasure your acquaintance. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, w would you like to go out to dinner tomorrow night? I'd love to. God, he works fast. Hey, Quagmire, is that a banana in your pocket or a erection in your pocket? Do you want to say nine o'clock? Sure. See you then. Oh, my God. I'm in love. Wow, it's so lovely here, Glenn. Well, this is our three-week anniversary, Joan. I wanted this date to be special. You know, this place is unique because if you're lucky, some nights around sunset, the screaming black dolphins come out. Oh, wow, really? I've heard they're just beautiful. What's going on, man? What's oh, what's going on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Almost That's... drowned yesterday. Oh, man, <laughs> it's wet out here. Oh, look at them. They're magical, aren't they? Listen, Joan... I have something very important to ask you. Hey, James. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see how long I can hold my breath. I'll see you breathing out your hole. What is it, Glenn? Joan, I've decided I want to spend my life with you. Will you marry me? <gasps> oh, of course I will. Nothing would make me happier than to be Mrs. Quagmire. Hey, man. <laughs> I see you got some seaweed on your tail. Where? What? Oh, you know I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Man, you all, oh, oh, I thought you were talking about the other seaweed. <laughs> you know I got jokes. <laughs> I'm going to slap you in my fist. Boy, I never thought we'd be going to Quagmire's for an engagement party. I'm telling you guys, he's putting us on. He's the same old Quagmire. Hey there, neighbors. Are you lost? <laughs> I'm just Josh, and of course we're expecting you. Come on in, friends. <laughs> Uh-uh, uh if you all just, uh, take your shoes off there, Joan and I kind of do the Japanese thing. Uh-oh. Foot odor. I have to go. I have, a uh, terrible foot odor. Glenn, your place looks wonderful. I feel like I can touch things in here now. We brought you guys a bottle of wine. Ooh, matrache! I like our friends. So Joan and I just love without a trace, don't we, honey? Yeah, it's all right. We think it's all right. What are you talking about? You hate CBS. Ooh, uh, hate is a word we don't use in this house. Joan and I always say, if you don't have anything nice to say about someone, don't say anything at all. <laughs> we say that, right, honey? Sometimes. Sometimes we say that. Hey, Quagmire, check out this month's Hustler, huh? Quagmire? Oh, now, this is neat. These people have put an old-fashioned colonial spinning wheel in the center of their living room. As furniture. Oh, that's what I want in my house. Gosh, Peter, thanks so much for being my best man. Oh, it's my pleasure. In fact, I got a wedding surprise for you. All right, pack it up, guys. I know you have a foot fetish, so I got you the Statue of Liberty's foot. Oh, thanks, Peter, but Joan's all the foot I need now. What? But, Quagmire, that's the real foot from the Statue of Liberty. No, no, I'm okay. Hey, hey, do you have any idea what I went through to get this? A lot. A real lot. You think this is just, oh, here comes Peter with the Statue of Liberty's foot. Oh, isn't that a gas? No, no. The reality, the real reality of getting this together was staggering. You know? This cost me $437,000. Don't ask me how I got it. I had to call in a whole bunch of favors from people I've never even met. So the very least you can do is just rub up against, I don't know. Well, if you want, I can... No, 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 it's fine. No, no, whatever, whatever. Just go to your wedding, man. ¿Quieres tu que nosotros? No, 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 no. Take, just get it out of here. Peter, what's the matter? This is a happy occasion. No, it's not, Lois. It's horrible. You don't know what happens to a man when he gets married. It's like a disease that rots you from the inside out. I know, Peter, but 
Oh, damn it. I can't believe how much my breasts have swollen. <gasps> Oh, look out! Champagne! Peter, stop! <laughs> oh, Lois, you're all wet. Here, let me jiggle you dry. <laughs> giggity, giggity, God, I've made a terrible mistake! <laughs> oh, God, I gotta get out of this marriage. Cleveland, how did you get out of yours? You slept with my wife. It's easy, Quagmire. Just tell her to hit the bricks. Yeah, you've gotten out of commitments before. Wow, that was great. Sure was. See ya. But you said we were going to get married. Oh, I only said that so you'd gagoogity my gishmoygan. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, some of the guys thought we should get a divorce. What? But, 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 but I, I told them they didn't know what they were talking about. Good, good, because if you ever left me, I'd have to cut myself, and then I'd cut you. I love you, Glenn. I love you, too, insane woman I'm having second thoughts about. What? Oh, that. Wait a second. We know she's going to be upset if you dump her, but if something happened that was out of your control... What do you mean? I mean we're going to fake your death. This is the best idea I've had since I invented that soda. What do you guys want? Joan, um, you mind if we come in? There's, um, there's been an accident. This is, uh, not gonna be easy, but, um, it's something you should see. So anyway, here's Quagmire walking through the park, minding his own business. Uh, I just happen to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then a evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! I imagine you're probably wondering what happened to the body. Well, we thought of that. Oh no! Quagmire's dead! Wait, we might still be able to save it. Oh no! Dun 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 we are so, so sorry for your loss. Is this a joke? I wish it were, Joan. I wish it were a joke. But these things happen, you know? You go for a walk in the park one day, and wheelchair ninjas and Nazis and pots and pans robots show up to kill you, and dinosaurs show up to eat the remains. You've seen the news. You're not fooling anyone. All right, fellas, plan B. Plan B, Quagmire. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, heart attack. <laughs> Glenn, sweetheart, is he all right? No, he's dead. I can tell I'm a cop. Oh, my God. Are you sure? You know what'll prove it? When people die, they void their bowels. I said when people die, they void their bowels. Ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> what a jackass! You sure Quagmire's okay in there? No problem. He's got half an hour of oxygen. We'll sneak back later and dig him up. Sorry I'm late. I had a meeting over at NBC about Joey. Death? What are you doing here? Nobody's dying today. Not according to my paperwork. It says here your buddy Quagmire died of a heart attack. I gotta tell you, I always thought it'd be rectal trauma. Whoa, 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 what the hell are you doing? Well, Mayor West is afraid of zombies, so the city says all caskets must be encased in concrete. You'll thank me when no one eats our brains. You'll thank me. Hold it, stop the funeral! Quagmire's not really dead! Uh, zombie! Uh, <gasps> Glenn! I thought I'd lost you! Sorry, Mr. Quagmire, but I still need a body to take back with me, so... No! Uh, you know, um, this is probably not cool. Just throwing it out there. Um, she was suicidal. She was? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I had heard that, too. And her last name was Quagmire. Well, good enough for me. I gotta go. I got tickets to Celine Dion. I'm not gonna kill her. I'm just gonna watch her die on her own. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> ah, it's good to have you back, Quagmire. It's good to be back, Peter. Hey, uh, Death? Can you leave that body here for another five minutes? <laughs> That's Quagmire!